Howdy, this is Terry, and I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to click that like button and look at the description of this video. I have all kinds of links, and on my homepage, you'll see a bunch of playlists for how I lost my weight. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hello, let's get our stuff ready for tomorrow. Let's go down to my counter. Don't get seasick on me. Okay, so let's start off with, I cracked in two eggs and I have a cheese wedge. <clears throat> We're gonna add in some of my, this is, uh, I labeled it <coughs> um, bre pork breakfast, but it's just ground pork that I, it looks kinda like ground beef. Anyway, it says it's ground pork, hopefully that's the right lid, and, um, and uh, that I cooked in my crock pot. So it's just ground pork. So let's see, I'll stick this back here. And this is some onions and pepper, or oh, onions and mushrooms that I sauteed. We're gonna put some of that in there. Okay. Um, I'll just set you right there for now. So, <clears throat> um, I'll put in a little salt. I'll probably forget tomorrow, but that's all right. So, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be that. And then, I, I got hungry earlier, so I'm gonna also take, this is a half of a serving of frozen avocado. So whatever the serving size is, I think I must say 25 grams, cause I measured it and that's how, what fits in there is 25 grams. So, now let's slide you forward and you forward. Let's get this together. So I have my breakfast stuff, lunch. So I pulled out the stack, and like I said, it's two mains and a vegetable. This vegetable I'll have with supper tomorrow. Um, ground beef. Ooh, or pork with onion gravy. I think I'm going to do the onion, pork and onion gravy with this tomorrow evening for supper. So let me clear this out, and I'll be right back. So no, let's see. Um, no one, I got ground beef. This is what we're going to do. I am going to have a Southwestern bowl. Um, normally when I have the Southwestern bowl, I have salsa. I don't have any salsa. And for some of you all, you might think of this as blasphemy and I apologize, but this is how it's going down. So first off, I'll start off by seasoning my ground beef with some mild Southwest ranch seasoning. Oh, wasn't one of these spicy? Hold up, hold up. Might not have left it out. Hang on. All right. So now, let's put that on our ground beef. There we go. So we got that together. So I'll just microwave this tomorrow. Now let's build our vegetables. So I, I keep a paper towel on my salad because I keep it stored upside down. And I don't care what vegetables are in there. There's some broccoli in there, onions in there, cabbage in there. None of that matters to me. It's all vegetables, it'll be fabulous. I'll happily eat it. And, oh man. Well, we're, I'm taking this two days in a row. Cause Thursday, I have a work meeting and, um, and it's gonna be at a, uh, it's like for all the supervisors. Oh, I hope I have a ground beef. Hang on. I may be changing up. Nope, it's all good. I have a ground beef for Thursday also. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I'll microwave this ground beef. Like I said, you're going to see this twice, and you all need to just smile and go with it. Don't be, don't be saying, Terry, variety is a spice of life. I know. I know. We don't care. I do, I do what I want. I do what I want. And then this is medium fajita seasoning. I do my own thing and I don't care what folks think. You got to be that way too. If you eat the same thing for 365 days a year and you get yourself healthy and you lose weight, then you go with it, baby. Don't be paying attention, nobody. Folks don't know nothing. All right, I'm going to also add a little bit of my guacamole and more. I refilled it. While I was eating my supper tonight, I refilled it. I'm like, yeah, that's something I can do. 
All right, so I got my pico de gallo. It's mild pico de gallo. And uh, just put a little of that there and a little bit of that there. Oh my goodness, excuse me. I got the burpee burps. Okay, so that part's normal. You know, all the vegetables and whatnot, all that's fabulous. Now, what I'm going to do, this is a little bit maybe blasphemy, but I'm adding a little of this. Why? Because I want to. And, you know, when you have salsa, it's like a tomato-y something or another. So, I think it'll be good. I don't care what nobody thinks. So, there we go. That's what we're having tomorrow. My <laughs> Italian Southwestern bowl and my ground beef and an apple will be lunch. And my eggs and an avocado will be for supper or blood. Brett, Dad, gummit, you know what meal I'm trying to say? The first, the first meal of the day, whatever that's called. That's what this is for. Yeah, that's not a wise idea, Terry Terry. You better rethink that. All right, so put that there. Put, that can just go anywhere. That's okay. Man, oh, y'all saw it. I know you did. I know I've got extra at work, but I still like to take it if I can. No sense dirty them up if I don't need them. So, all right, there's that. Now let's get our coffee ready. Got the cup. These are my homemade chocolate electrolytes. Link is in the description for how I made them for the video. I sound like one of those people that are selling something. Oh, this is the electrolytes that I buy and I got my code down in the description. I ain't got no code. I got I got the video on how you can make it yourself. Save that money, y'all. Just take an over-the-counter. Well, I ain't saying you should because this ain't medical advice. But I'm just saying. You can buy you some over-the-counter pills of magnesium and make you your own electrolytes out of sodium and potassium which is just salt and no salt. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You ain't got to spend the money. Now, if you want to, that's all right. Because, you know, if you want something that's science-backed, mine is just... <laughs> my, mine's just Terry-backed. It ain't scientific. It's just Terry-backed. Anyway, so, oh, uh, so I got my cup here. I'll be ready for in the morning. Got my coffee here ready for in the morning. And my lid... And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this away and I'll see you for breakfast, bye. Hello, it's breakfast time. If you saw me make my avocado, you saw I forgot to add any seasoning. So I'm putting just a pinch of salt and I'm gonna put in some of this Dano's, just plain old Dano's, just to give it some kind of flavoring. Um, you know, if you eat your avocado fresh, you might not like the uh, frozen avocado. I don't know. I I ate avocado fresh, I think, like once or twice. But, you know, it just goes bad so fast. So, for me, buying frozen works better. Um, So, in the morning, I just kind of, after it's thawed out a little bit, I just kind of do this. And then, there we go. I feel like avocado... Is as bland as whites of an egg. By the way, look at this jacket I got it last night at Cato. <clears throat> it's got zippers on it. And there we go. So I got some. So I got that at Cato's last night. And then I got a t-shirt underneath it and jeans. So, okay. I will. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here's my breakfast. My eggs. And I remember I salted it some last night. I don't remember. I need to quit doing that because then I don't remember what all I put in it. Although maybe it doesn't matter. Let me just see how it tastes. See if it might be too hot. But... Mmm. Need more salt. Um, when I make these eggs, I just put everything in it and pop it in the microwave for about two minutes. I stir it up and then do another minute. 
if I just did eggs by themselves, I would do it for about a, a minute, stir it up, and maybe do another minute or 30 seconds. So, but when you have extra things in it that make it kind of wet, then that makes it uh, need to go a little longer to get, you know, to get all that soupiness out of it. All right, all right. I'll see you at lunchtime. It's lunchtime, and I microwaved the ground beef for about a minute and a half, and then I put it in here, and I forgot to tell you all, well, I forgot to do it on camera. I, I was laying down, and I was like, oh, I forgot my salad dressing. So I went back in and squirted some salad dressing on this. I just love salad dressing on my Southwestern stuff. Plus, I'm about 10 calories versus 30, 45 calories of the sour cream or Greek yogurt. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I remember, I'm eating the same thing tomorrow because I'm going to a deli. So, okay, bye, see you at supper. Ms. Lola West Coast, thank you for the super thanks. You don't have to do that. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ms. Lola West Coast. Hey, for supper, we are gonna have some of my, oh, this is when I mashed it, some stump. Somebody had asked what stump, well, <clears throat> I had a couple of my viewers from overseas said that they ate stump growing up and it's like a, kinda like roasting root vegetables. I don't remember exactly what all their parents used, so that's what I made, I kinda Googled it and mine has carrots, and um, rutabaga and parsnip. And so it's it, what, it was basically, some of it was one recipe, they mashed it up and added milk, but I didn't do that, I just mashed it up. So anyway, so, um, and then we got some, um, ah, pork chops and ample sauce, no, pork chops and my onion gravy, so I'm gonna microwave this. So I got my fruit for tonight. Let's try our, hang on, it's kind of yucky around the edges. I got to take a paper towel and go around the edge because the way I hold it, now if I wasn't going to, if I wasn't trying to be all fancy, this is what I do when I'm not trying to be fancy. Look, here's my side. Then it gets, keeps, it gets the junk off the top. It's my bowl, and I'll wash it before somebody eats out of it again. It's all right. Don't, don't, don't be traumatized, Judy. Don't be traumatized, Judy. You didn't raise me terrible. I just, I just became terrible. <laughs> I just became terrible after you raised me. <laughs> all right, anyway, so let's try our mashed stump. Yep. It's not creamed like, you know, like mashed, mashed potato, but, mm-hmm. This is, I think I already told you what was in it. Mm-hmm. I've enjoyed this a lot. And then this is my pork chop and onion gravy. I got sore on my, on my finger right where it is when you, right, right there, when you write and hold a spoon. So I might have to like hold my spoon this way. Like I'm a kid. Or like I've been in prison. Like I've been in prison, you know, they kind of hover around their food. Like, don't you get near my food. Mm -hmm. I bit the tar out of my lip last night. Am I the only one that does that? I was eating fruit, frozen fruit, so I just chunked right down. Didn't even feel it. Didn't even know what happened. Well, I noticed it later because I was like, where'd that come from? It's like, oh, I bit my lip. I tell you, I bite the inside of my mouth all the time. 
I'm gonna try to hurry up and eat this. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna do a, um, we'll try on the clothes. It'll be a different video. Maybe it's already uploaded, I don't know. But I'll show you all the stuff I got from a thrift store. And from Kato's. That's why I, that's why I drink the liquid. It's running down my chin. I don't need that running down my chin. I don't need that nonsense in my life. I just want to shovel and go. Shovel and go. I think it kind of gives it a different flavor whenever you chop it. You know, whenever you kind of break up the vegetables into smaller pieces like that. If you eat parsnips, what makes some of them like straw and some of them smooth? It came off all the same parsnips. There was three. But that previous, will you get back? That previous bite had one that was kind of stringy. So, all right. I'm going to shut up and eat. I'll see you next time.